Online, New Zealand tiny homes publicity is hard to miss. Matt Aitken was certainly roped in. The perfect company, he thought, to supply his new sleep out. They had a very legitimate looking website. Um, a lot of work had gone into setting that up. He was sold. I ordered a 8x3 um, flat pack unit. Um, it had a kitchenette and ensuite. Um, it was for full installation and it was um, just over $17,400. But now he's got nothing to show for it. I purchased in the beginning of May um, on the agreement that it would be built sometime in July. Um, we're now in September and the unit hasn't even been ordered from the factory in China. Three News has been sent this footage other customers say was provided to show how their prefabs were progressing. But the customers we spoke to are unhappy. In February, Invercargill's Adam McColl paid over $9,000 for a sleep out. And they said they could deliver it uh, around the end of March, April sort of way. And yeah, we, we thought that was almost too good to be true. This is company director Shane Blackler. Adam later got this voice message from him, claiming his order had been damaged. They destroyed everybody's stuff. We're taking them to court. Everybody's going to be compensated, OK? Well, it's going to be a long process. It's going to take months. But if they don't cough up with insurance claims, which will be a lot quicker, um, then we're going to be taking them, um, yeah, no insurance, taking them to court. I've got a good lawyer, man, and we've got enough evidence to prove that they wrecked everybody's stuff. So everyone's going to get compensated. You just have to be patient. Several customers have laid complaints with the police. In a statement, police said they had been in contact with several New Zealand tiny homes customers and the complaints were still at the assessment stage. Matt Aitken is scathing of the lack of action. It feels like people can do this and get away with it. In text messages to 3 News, Blackler said just because he was broke didn't mean he wouldn't take people to court. However, he also said he intended to reimburse everybody out of his own pocket, but this would take time. He said customers' money was solely spent on materials from China and he had receipts. Mm -hmm.